Welcome to Baseball Roulette. This is episode two. In the last episode, we won our game, which means we get to keep an MVP from that game. And we're choosing Adrian Beltre. He had a huge four hit game, but we have to use him out of position. We did have to use him out of position at second base in the last episode. We will use him out of position again today. Now, without further ado, you are going to hit the like button down below. I am going to spin to see how we are building this team in today's episode. We are gonna go by position number. So from one to nine, front to back, it's pitcher, catcher, first, second, third, shortstop, left field, center field, right field. As always, our starting pitcher spin is for the entire rotation. We must use an MBL player. I'm gonna try out the 99 Rap Dixon. I actually have the 90 overall satchel page at full energy. He's up to a 92 overall, 92 hits per nine, five pitch mix. We're gonna use Satchel. And then I'm also gonna have Martin DeHigo on the team as well. If we need to use another guy, we can use him in relief. Now we're spinning for catcher, which is where we used to start. I used, I pretty much OG wager wheel. I used to go by position number, essentially. Any retired legend at catcher. This one's easy for me, the 99 Joe Maurer. We're gonna team up the two Hall of Fame cards together. The number three position is first base. Whatever we land on here, we must select a first baseman, a switch hitting first baseman. How about the 99 action figure series, Tony Clark? Now we already have Adrian Beltre at second base. We are gonna go ahead and we're gonna spin for shortstop now. Now we're spinning for third base now, number five position. Since we're skipping second base, we need a 2024 All-Star. We're gonna go with the 95 Ryan McMahon card. He's a primary third baseman with diamond fielding. He's a 118, 104 lefty left. And now position number six is shortstop. We need a good land here. I need a good partner to go with Beltre. Oh, it's Hyper Series. It was almost secondary position. How about the 91 Hyper Series Matt McLean? 91 110 contact, 71 95 power. This is the exact type of card I'm talking about when I wanted to do this series and try out as many different lineups as possible. This is diversity. Now we're going out to left field. Our left field spin will be long hair in left field not just being a homer here i feel obligated to take brandon marsh and throw him in left number eight on the position wheel is center field another huge spin and a big spot for this team we need a season awards card in center field how about the season award lightning brenton doyle 99 overall this is the most recent lightning card in the game so really couldn't have asked for a better land 120 113 power with 99 fielding across the board and 99 speed. And now we'll go to right field and we will finish off with DH afterwards in right field to go next to the lightning card. We need a secondary position. That's actually pretty good for right field. It's a good position to get secondary. Now, I pretty much just have a pick em of all left fielders and center fielders in the game. And I'm gonna big put the big your Don Alvarez, the brand new cycle card that I just unlocked the other day on the channel, if you haven't already gone and watched that video, we played through this entire program. But 116, 125 contact, 125, 109 power. Who cares about the fielding? Speaking of who cares about the fielding, let's spin for our designated hitter in this lineup. I haven't even checked to see how many lefties, righties. Really, we could go with whatever here. An action figure series player. I'm going to put the bad man Carlos Delgado at DH. He's got catcher as a secondary, so we don't have to worry about getting a backup catcher on our bench with Mal. I mean, 125, 125 versus right. One of the best hitters in the game. Let's throw him a DH, try and get a no doubt animation. Our starting lineup's going to go Brenton Doyle, Joe Maurer, Adrian Beltre, Ryan McMahon, Jordan Alvarez, lefty, lefty at the 4-5. With Tony Clark batting six, Carlos Delgado seven, Matt McLean eight, and Brandon Marsh live series at nine. Now we're gonna spin for our bench, and our first bench spot is gonna be. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Out of position does not work for the bench. So we're gonna spin again. That is a position land. Second shot at our first bench is gonna be a future star. 97 futures, Roman Anthony, center field. Maybe we can use him for Brandon Marsh at some point if we need another batter there. Now we'll spin again. Three more bench spots remain. Kind of would like a righty on the bench, though, for Brandon Marsh. A prime card. The 95 Troy Gloss. We're going to have to activate him as one of our wild cards. He can go on our bench. Now two more bench spots. Then we will spin for the bullpen and jump into a ranked seasons game. 
bench spot number three will be another retired legend. I'm going to be smart about this, and I'm going to put switch hitter Bernie Williams in that third bench spot. And now last but not least, our final bench spot. To finish out our bats, we need another all-star series card. And I'm just going to take the straight up best hitter here, and that's Juan Soto. What do we got for the pen? One spin to fill the whole thing out. We have two options to use as starters. Out of position does not work. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Spin number two. All tops now cards. Nice. I just realized though that we only have Ben Joyce, the 98 overall, and then two season one options that are gonna take up wild card spots that are tops now relieved. So we're actually gonna spin this bad boy one more time and see what else we can use. We have five more spots to at least get a couple more. We've already used our wild card spots. We will spin again. We're having no luck with the with the pitcher spins here. Future stars. There are no future star relievers because all the future star pitchers are starting pitchers. We, we will spin again. I might have to make a bullpen separate wheel. There's so many options, but man, this is tough. The overall wheel. Here we go. Whatever overall it lands on, we can pick any reliever we want in that window. And it looks like it's going to be high 80s. 89. Tanner Scott and Chris Davinsky are our 289s. The last three spots are just going to go to the next three highest, which are 288, Mason Miller, Emmanuel Classe, and then a choice on these 87s, I'll do Taylor Rogers. Now, as you know, if we win the game, we get to keep an MVP on the team in the next episode. If we complete the challenge, though, we get to open a pack or make a purchase off the marketplace to upgrade the team as well. So if we complete this challenge and win the game, we'll get two, two butt hits in this game and we will get a bonus player for the next episode. Before we continue in today's video, I gotta give a shout out to today's sponsor, one of my faves, Cushy Dreams. Cushy Dreams is the best of legalized cannabis products. They got CBD, THC, pre-rolls, gummies, all the good stuff. Everything at Cushy Dreams is federally legal by the United States of America and discreetly shipped right to your door. Now me personally, I'm a gummy guy, helps me sleep. Now since you're a fan of the channel, I have got a deal for you. Go to CushyDreams.com, that's K-U-S-H-Y.com. At checkout, use code JOMBOY for 25% off your order get 25 percent off and enter in to win some free stuff with code john boy cushy dreams for people like you and me so yeah hit that link in the description box down below check them out for now while you're down there hit the like button subscribe if you're new. let's try and get 500 likes on this video 500 likes if you haven't already hit the thumbs up down below it's win a ranked game here we go he's got the no hitter dylan cease from the season awards ready to roll and a couple parallel fives in the lineup not a bad team Oh, fly ball to left. Brandon Marsh getting action right away. Ew, nasty screwball from Satchel Page. Ground ball up. McLean will make the play. And that'll do it for the inning. He's a little bit late on a slider. Does he challenge? He does, and we ripped it. He got a little confident on the fastball because I was late slider. A bad swing because I couldn't see it. Not because I can't handle it. And now he's going to intentionally walk Joe Maurer. How about that? Oh, Beltre dead center. 99 exit velo. It might have enough. Adrian Beltre again. Returns to the team and homers in the first inning. He has five hits in 10 innings on this team. Tony Clark steps in. I've seen worse swings go a long way. Ball one to Tony Clark. Runner on first. Get down. Get down. Lines out to center. Bang! Carlos Delgado. 111 off the bat. Two run shot to center, and it's 5-0 in the first. I just need these bunt base hits now so we can get both. And here's Matt McClain, a good, a good candidate. Go. Oh. Bunts it to second. Can he beat it out? A good flip there. You got to practice your PFPs. Matt McClain with the bunt single. One more of those. We guarantee an upgrade. Don't quit now. Oh, that's the worst time that he could have quit. Are you kidding me? So here are the rules that I have in place for when this happens. We are going to play a second game with the same team. We get an MVP for the next episode no matter what. If I win the, the second game. We get two MVPs, which in that case, we'd start the next episode with two players. 
three if we get the two bunts. Oh, Satchel Page goes parallel four post game. Love to see that. Good news is Satchel Page, we're going to slide him down. Martin DeHigo can start since we had a backup there, and the bullpen was not used at all. Here we go, home squad, and we got to hit the action figure, Max Scherzer. He has parallel five Jimmy at the top of the order. This guy knows ball. Oh, first pitch of the game. Jimmy Rollins rips the gap. It's a good sinker right there. It's two and two. How about the change up right underneath of it. Yeah. Get him a third. Get him a third. Got him. Curveball. Nice play. Beltre, you got to throw it fast. 96 speed. Just got him. Jones on deck. That's scary. Start your down with a change up. Way too much plate, but he hits it right at Tony Clark to end the first. Oh, rolls over a slur. Well located. Joe Mauer down the line. Oh, tough route out there in second, and the ball kind of just died in the grass. We're going to go for two. We're going to go for two. Out of boy. Oh, Beltre. Slurve up and away. Hit it well, and it just stays in the ballpark. Mauer will move up to third. Throw it to third. Oh, we throw it to there. Go home. Go. Get there. Get there. Get there. Get there. Yeah! Yup. Time that up perfectly. Now Ryan McMahon's going to hit one in the gap, and that will... Oh, what a play! Jaron Duran with the diving snag. It's a good curveball. Beltre to his left will make the play in the hole. He's unreal. Oh, good poke. Jerks and Profar were starting with sinker away. Just rips it out the left. Round ball to first. Oh, Tony Clark. He had to kind of snow cone that on a short hop. Nice play. Bad chase there on that slurve. Tatis will make the play on the back end. Ah, we had him 2-0-2. Two -oh -two. Carlos Delgado spanks that. Oh, I rolled it over. I got my pitch, too. I guessed right down and away on the heater, but I was out in front. Good sinker. Beltre makes that play on the backhand. One out. Nando swings through a fastball. It's going to be 0-2. The sinker, same tunnel, in off the plate. Perfect. Oh, what a hit. 0-2 on your Don, just like that with two on. Bounce a curve. Oh, a little bit too much plate, but again, Beltre. Over reliable. Adrian Beltre makes the play. Strands two. We got the top of the order coming up. Oh, ball smoked. That will be a double for Chipper Jones. Round ball to first. That'll move the tying run up to third. That's going to be an RBI single for Profar. We're tied up in the fourth. Good pitch, and he punches it through the hole the other way. This guy's a hit machine right now, and Brandon Marsh botches it and left. Oh, but he makes a throw. Pops it up. One pitch, one out on Ryan Jeffers. He will have the top of the order in the fifth. He ties it up. Let's hit. Get down, ball. There we go. Finally got to that fastball. Could still hit it a little better. And Tony Clark gets a hanging breaking ball. That is way gone. 111 off the bat for Tony Clark. 429 feet straight down the line. It's four to one. Here we go. We're going for it. For a pack or a choice? No. Get down. No. Oh, swings right through that slurve, and that'll do it for the inning. Okay. Damn, it's done, though, Tony Clark. Fly ball to center. We got a man there. Fly ball to left. Brandon March can't get there. Sinker floated right down the middle, and he made me pay for it. Soft line drive to second. Beltray makes the second out. We are still holding a lead. We can get these right back in the bottom half. Beltray again. This man. Oh, there he goes. He finally made an error. Oh, but he made the throw in time. Unbelievable. This guy's a magnet. Oh, pretty good pitch. And now he gets a fastball on the outside half. And again, we chased. Uh-oh, three up, three down. He's got the momentum again. 
No way. Inside out to the sinker. A little routine soft ground ball to short, but we were in a shift. Good slurve. He swings through that. It'll be 0-2. Runner still at first. They're going to do it again. Take again. 2-2. Two and two. Now we're going to throw a better sinker on the inside half. Tough pitch. Pop! Team up! Ooh, what a take. How about the sinker off of that? Perfect pitch. Popped it up. Ryan McMahon will be there. It'll be the second out of the inning. Tough pitch. Another pop up. Your Dom will not get there. We will do 3-2 again. Perfect spot. There's no way that 100% perfect pitch hit the one sliver of the circle that wasn't a strike. Oh, that stings. Now there's two on, one in scoring position with two outs for Jimmy Rollins. And he hits a ground ball to third. Just tag third. Just tag third. There's no way he beat us to the bag. It was Juan Soto running. Oh, no. Fly ball. I knew he was looking for that pitch the whole at bat. We spammed down and away, and then when we got ahead of him, buried that sinker in off the plate, on the hands. He strands him loaded, and we're still up one. Put that ball right down the third baseline. Yes, sir, Ryan McMahon. It's perfect. It's perfect. Get through. Perfect, perfect. Line out the short with your Don. Tony Clark. Now he's going to pull that slider out for a knock. Smoked. Ah! Oh! Dang, I went down there and got that too, but just chased it. He's going to pinch hit Francisco Lindor, so Mason Miller does get a lefty. And he ties the game. Tried to throw a cutter in off the plate. It got the corner of the plate. Mason Miller tried to throw a slider down and in off the plate. He hung it right on the corner. He was sitting on it. Fly ball to left. Finally, we get an out. Fly ball to center. He was late on that heater. Two out. That's staying fair, huh? Wow, it hit the foul pole. Hanging slider right down the middle. Bretton Doyle couldn't get there. Didn't want to risk anything. Oh, ball smoke. This man's destroying everything on the inside half right now. The bases are going to be loaded with two down. Can we please bury a slider? Much better. It's sad, though, because that's really not a good slider, but it's better than where everything else has been hanging this inning. That's a good changeup. Great take. Live ball to right. No shot. It is 10 to 4. Joe Maurer deep to left. That ball's hammered. And it will hop off the wall. It's going to bounce hard off the wall, actually. That'll be a double. Adrian Beltre. Make it a game again. We have us a ball game again. A two-run shot in the seventh from Adrian Beltre. Smoke. Look at Tony Clark. You're telling me that was foul the one time we make a play and get lucky? Round ball to first. We're going to go three. Six, three, double play. Runner moves up to third, but now he needs one more out to get back in the box. Ground ball to third. Ryan McMahon will make the play. Come on, we need two, at least two more here in the eighth. Let's just stay fair for me, Jordan. That's a barrel. Tony Clark again! I think I have found our MVP. Of course, though, we would have to win this game. Carlos Delgado, who's up right now, would probably be the MVP of game one. And that ball's hit well. Right through the hole on the right side. We can make this a one-run game now. Ah, just missed that pitch. That'll bring up Brandon Marsh, and we are finally going to go and utilize a bench player here, bottom eight. We're going to go with the Bernie Williams card. I dropped the PCI. Uh, I hesitated and I dropped on it. That ball is smoked to Bernie Williams. Ground ball to third. We're going to go five, four, three around the horn. One more quick out here. Come on. Give me some momentum. No. Bleeds. It's got to be his 20th hit of this game. Round ball up the middle, McLean. 
I was gonna just tag it, but I, I the last second I realized Jimmy was gonna beat me there, and uh, yeah, it was gonna be safe all around no matter what. Pops it up. Whew, that didn't bite us. Three run game, bottom nine. We can do this. Ball smoked. Stay fair. Brenton Doyle gets it started in the ninth with a solo shot. Two run game. No, oh, give me a weak one. You owe me four of those. You owe me four. Why is Jimmy so fast? Put a Ben Joyce on Adrian Beltre. And Adrian Beltre. Oh, we hit that really good. We were just, I guess, a hair underneath of it. Put it right on the power part of the PCI. But here's Ryan McCann. We need a base runner. Get through Ryan McMahon. Hard ground ball right side. But Lindor makes the play. No. Regardless, that was a really fun two set of games. We are two and one now in baseball roulette. We get an MVP and a pack or marketplace pickup in the next episode. Our MVP has to be based on game one. Can't have a duplicate MVP. So we got to go with Carlos Delgado for that second home run. What are we going to do with the pack? We'll find out at the beginning of the next episode. Subscribe down below for more. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.